going to ride my bike instead of using the vehicle so that I can reduce my carbon footprint. People know about reduce, reuse, recycle, but they don't understand always that you should try to do it in that order. Meaning that you should first try to reduce what you're using. So maybe drinking from a glass instead of drinking from that water bottle. Then after that, reusing what you have. Like let's say using that bottle to hold as storage as opposed to just throwing it away. Then finally after that, you can go ahead and feel free to recycle what you have. I'm gonna go to savethefood.com. They've got tips on how to meal plan better, how to keep food fresher longer, and what to do with some scraps I probably would have thrown away. Every time I change my car's oil, I always make sure to dispose it properly by putting it in a container that is safe, and I take it to uh, the nearest oil recycling centers. Hey everybody. Let's work together to reduce single-use plastic. Invest in a reusable water bottle, and let's cut out plastic pollution and save money while we're doing it. These paper bags can be used for containers for recycling or compost. They can be used to create book covers. And if you would like to get more creative, you can also use the paper bags for gift wrap or for arts and crafts projects. A good way to be sustainable is to use toilet paper to plant your seedlings. First thing, you just cut your one end to four strips about half an inch then you fold it like you'll seal a box without tape and then you just add soil to it and your seedling will grow like that I'm gonna download the my LA 311F and report any illegal dumping on my walk around the neighborhood I'm going to buy a reusable straw to carry around in my purse this will help me to reduce my use of single-use plastics I've seen silicon bamboo and stainless steel which one should I choose my sustainability tip is to thoughtfully consider what you're tossing out, whether or not you could reuse it again for some other purpose, or before you purchase something, consider if there's something else you could substitute instead that would be less wasteful. Um, I've been collecting these eggshells for planting, and instead of putting them in a bag, I've been putting them in this container that I had gotten food in at one point in time. And then we want to massage the fruits. And then we want to go and start backfilling. These are very beneficial. Economically, they raise property values, increase business traffic, save energy with shade, lowering temperatures and raising atmospheric moisture, and slowing evaporation. Also, they provide growth opportunities with wood and fruit. A great plant to have in your garden is the milkweed plant. This supports our local monarch butterflies and it also attracts just other beautiful butterflies from the neighborhood. And so it's a great plant to have in your garden and it can be found at most nurseries. Happy Earth Day!